Welcome back to another exciting chemistry lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at how to solve for the molar mass of an unknown gas. So here we have an unknown gas that has a mass of 1.7 grams, okay, in a 800 millimeter container. And this is at 700 millimeter mercury and 25 degrees Celsius. What is the molar mass of the unknown gas? So before we do anything, we already know what is molar mass. Molar mass is what? By definition of molar mass is the number of grams of whatever the substance is divided by the number of mole. And in most cases, when we divide it by, we are going to simplify so that it's equal to one mole. In this case, we can use this as an equation. So first of all, we already know what is the mass going to be already. It's right here. So 1.7 grams of this unknown gas. The trickiest part is, what is the number of mole? Well, since we are dealing with gases and we are dealing with volume, pressure, and temperature, we know that there is one equation that will allow us to find the number of mole, and that is the ideal gas equation, PV equal to nRT. Now, N is your number of moles right there. So we can bring this over here, right? So what we have here is N equal to PV divided by RT. But before we plug in the values of each variable directly from the problem, we had to convert them first. Because if you look at the R values, it's 0 0.0821, okay? And the unit of the gas constant is liter time pressure in ATM divided by mole and Kelvin. So we have to convert our unit into a specific unit in R before we can plug it in. So for pressure right here, we have 750 millimeter mercury. Well, we know that one ATM or atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter mercury or 760 tor, okay? So in this case, we have 750 millimeter mercury time, right? And what do we have? 760 millimeter mercury, and this is one ATM or atmosphere. Or 750 divided by 760, if you just plug this into your calculator, we have 0 0.987 atmosphere. There you go. So now we have the values for P, okay, 0 0.987. Now, the next step is your volume. This is milliliter. So we know that 1,000 milliliter is equal to one liter, right? So if that's the case, we have 800 milliliter. Notice how I show you step-by-step step with the unit conversion, right? And here you have 1,000 milliliter. But by now, you should know that to convert from milliliter to liter, you just divide by 1,000. Here, you should be able to do it right away. From any to from tor or millimercury, you just divide by 760. But here I want to show it to you. So in this case, we have what? One liter. So we have 0.8 liter. Okay, so there you go, 0.8. Now for R, we already know it's a constant, so it doesn't change. 0 0.0821. And then for the temperature, we know that we had to convert to Kelvin, and Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. In this case, 25 plus 273, what is that going to give us? We have 298. Now we plug it in the calculator, multiply everything on top, and divide everything on the bottom. What we have here is 0 0.0322 mole. And that is the mole that go over here. So we are going to bring this in here, right, right there, 0 0.0322. And now all we have to do is just do the basic math. And 1.7 divided by the mole give us, in this case, we have 52.67 grams per one mole. There you go. And that is how we determine the molar mass. The most difficult part is probably figure out the mole. And to do that, make sure you have the right unit for each variable, okay? And that's all it is. And if you have any questions, feel free to take a picture of your work, put in the form, and we will help you from there.